How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel and the video of the JJRC H11WH with the Wi-Fi FPV and the remote adjustment of the camera RC quadcopter. Let's open up the box and see what we got. All right, let's take a look at the quadcopter. It's a very light quadcopter, and it has that nice velvety coating as well, the scratch-resistant velvety coating. Really nice. Uh, an antenna on the top. Uh, it's probably a Fox antenna. Oh, here we have the uh, LED lights on the side, and as well as on the opposite side as well. And a couple of LED lights in the back of the quadcopter. And this quadcopter has easy change motor. Just unscrew here. You can disconnect the motor and change the motor really easily. Here is the on and off switch and the camera connecting port. Okay, let's take a look at the battery bay. Somehow I have misplaced the battery after the initial charge. Um, I don't know where I put it. So I'll try to look for it later and find it, but it is that of a 3.7 volt, 1100 milliamp size. Here we have the four prop guards. Next up is the bag of goodies. It contains the landing legs and the four extra props and a screwdriver. There is another bag of goodies containing the, the USB charge cord. And one more bag of goodies containing some adhesive sponge and some screws. Here is a box. Let's check that out. And the camera is inside. And it is the Wi-Fi camera. Finally, we have the remote control. The remote control also has that nice velvety finish as well, that scratch resistant velvety finish. And you plop this open. Here is the, the phone holder with the spring loaded clip, which is really nice, hides away. Bumper buttons here and a whole bunch of buttons here that we'll go over in a minute. And it will take three AAA size batteries. And deep inside the box, we find the instruction manual. Here is the layout of the contents of the box. And the landing legs just gets pushed in, into place. And there is a hole there to put a screw to securely hold the landing legs. But it is pretty good without the screw. Okay, the prop guards are easy to attach. But first, you will need to remove that screw and place the prop guards right here push it in and reinsert that screw to make it more sturdier and to attach the camera line up the hooks on the bottom of the quadcopter and push in and connect the wires to the camera wire port and you're set okay let's turn on the quadcopter and for this test, I have a similar battery inserted. Turn on the power. And on the remote control, I have the three AAA size batteries inserted now. Turning on the power. Binding it. As you can see, some nice LED lights in the front too. Some red LED lights. And look at those green LED lights on the side on both sides and in the back the blue LED lights in the back really bright would be a good night flyer for sure now in order to turn on the quadcopter you press this second button that says start and stop let's go ahead and press that button that arms the motors and in order to turn it off press that button and down press on the pitch stick to turn the motors off. Uh, this button up here, it says reset. It'll recalibrate the quadcopter. So one press recalibrate, 
hold it down for two seconds. And the quadcopter is recalibrated. The left top bumper button is the speed changing button as well as the light on and off switch. So let's go ahead and turn the lights off by down pressing it and holding it for a couple seconds. Turns the lights off on the quadcopter. Hold it down for a couple more seconds and turns it back on. Let's turn it back off. And it also is the speed mode button. It changes from speed number two, speed number three, and it goes back down to speed number one. Here is the flip button. Press that button and do the directional flips to your direction you want. Trim buttons here and the photo button up here and the video button down here. And also the headless mode button and the one key return button. Now trim buttons here again. But the interesting thing here is the camera angle button. Let's check that out. You press this up button and the camera angle moves up and press the down to lower down the camera angle. So let's check that out. Here we have the camera. I'm going to hit the bottom. You see that? The camera angle changes remotely. How cool is that? Here are the QR codes to download the FPV app for your phone, for your appropriate device. Now I scanned this QR code and it took me to a website instead of the app store. And I didn't feel comfortable downloading an app from a website. So I am using another app that is very similar and it works just as good. And it is called the Exploration UFO app. And it looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the quadcopter here. Okay, starting the Wi Fi connection. Okay, there it is. Connecting to the Wi Fi network. Starting the app. Okay, I got Wi-Fi FPV. Now I'm still not bounded. So let's turn on the displays. Now I'm bounded. Now it will not work with the virtual joystick. Hit that start button and the motors get engaged. Even though I stop it, it does not stop it. I have to hit that emergency stop button. There you go. Now let's check out that first button. It goes back to the, uh, the main page. And let's take a photo. Would like to access my photos. Okay. Let's change the scenery. Take another photo. And angle it up a little bit. And take another photo angled up. All right. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a video. Okay, the yellow counter indicates that I'm taking a video. Okay, let's go ahead and stop the video. There we go. The next button is the album button. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the video that we just took. There you go. Let's go back. Take a look at the photo folder. And there's the photo. There's the second photo. And there's the third photo. Okay. The next button is the on and off switch for the display. Turn it off and you hide all the controls. Turn it on. 
and you get rebounded. This is the settings button. And the next one is um, gravity mode button. So when you hit that gravity mode button, you are using your phone's gyro to control the pitch. Okay, let's get out of the gravity mode. The next one is one key return and headless mode. And the next button is flip button. And the next button is the speed button from 30% to 60% to 100%. All right. All right. Pretty nice. It's making some kind of a noise. I don't know if that's the gears, how it's supposed to be, but it is on a high hold. It has altitude hold, so it is holding steady, pretty decent altitude hold. Okay, let's go uh, and see the yaw on the low rates. All right, let's go up in speed. Speed number two. Pretty decent speed number two. I do have to up and throttle. All right. Now, the speed control button also is the turn off the light button. So down press it and the light is off. Okay. Now let's do the third speed. Three beeps. So y'all did not get any faster, but the pitch, however, did. And that is the yaw. All right, now let's check out the headless mode. Okay, that's the one key return, down pressing it once, and the light is flashing. And it is headless mode as well. So, down pressing on the headless mode button is a combination button. You go into headless mode right away, and it goes into the one key return at the same time. Okay, so left, right. Nice. The headless mode works pretty good. Okay, now let's get out of the headless mode. Down press that button again and we are out of the headless mode. Alright, so when I'm way out there Press it. There you go. And the one key return works really good. Nice little flips. Left side flip. Forward. Backward flip. Right, on the fly flips too. 
pretty decent. Okay, we're back down to the first speed. So three speeds in total. All right. Some nice funnels. A pretty nice flyer overall. Okay. Now let's land it. Now because of the uh, altitude hold, very hard to land. Not a very good landing. <laughs> okay, so the emergency stop works like this. Press the start stop key and down press on the pitch. It'll stop the motors. So let's go ahead and start that again and see if I can land it this time. Go down in altitude, go down in altitude. Okay, there you go. Okay, I got my camera attached and the Wi-Fi is turned on and I got the app uh, set up and I got the Wi-Fi FPV now. So hopefully you can see that. I got the uh, horizon in my view and it is working pretty good. Now let's see if we take off and it starts to uh, lag or give me uh, dropouts and see what happens there. Let's take a little flight with the Wi-Fi FPV. Okay, the phone holder is working pretty decent, but this phone is pretty heavy. I don't want to do it like that. I'm going to lift it up so I can have a little bit more balance here. So let's go ahead and turn on the uh, quadcopter. Start the engines. There you go. And let's take off. Send it up right around there. All right. Now let's take a photo. Another photo. Let's go up in speed to speed number three. Now let's take a video. The video counter is on. I must be running out of battery. I see the lights are flashing. Take a few more seconds up there taking video. Okay, let's turn off the video and give this thing a land job before it crashes. All right. Okay, let's check out the adjustable camera angle. So let's take off. And send it up a little higher. Okay, let's keep it right there. 
and yep I'm flying FPV let's bring it back don't want to go too far All right, one more time, camera angle adjustment. All right, let's bring it down. Okay, another thing that I found out is to kill the motor, just down press on the pitch stick. You don't have to press on the on off button. So let's see if that works. There you go. Okay, so let's check out the phone app and fly with the phone app. Okay, connected. All right. Let's take off. Okay, let's go to 60% right away and 100% right away. All right, we still have altitude hold. So we'll keep it right around there. And I'm flying with the phone app. Man, this one is really easy to fly with the phone app because of the altitude hold. And it behaves very nicely. All right, really nice. Really, really nice. How cool is that? Okay, let's see if I can do a flip. All right, with the phone app, backward flip, or does it just do one way flip? Yep, it just do forward flips. There you go. All right, works really good, but it just does forward flips. And I still have FPV right here, so I can see where I'm flying. All right, a little bit of a dropout right there. I regained the dropout, pretty cool. Now let's see if the gyro mode or the gravity mode works. All right. Yep, gravity mode works. Okay, the light is flashing now. Oh yeah, but the gravity mode works really good too. Okay. It's really nice, man. Let me get out of the gravity mode. Okay, I got to look at the phone to get out. So, here we are. We are out of the gravity mode. Okay. I think that's about it. Let's land this baby in the grass. There you go. Stop the motor. All right.